Now, if you want to establish a new habit, it's much easier if you put it in conjunction with something that you're already doing that has a positive effect in your life. It is said that we are a creature of habit. Boy, do we have them. Good ones and bad ones as well. For those of us who are married, just ask your spouse about it. Well, sometimes we set out to make big changes in our lives and this thing can be so daunting that we get discouraged and frustrated because they're not sustainable. So we drop them all together and we don't accomplish the task. Now, new research shows that tiny little changes on a consistent basis make a huge difference, especially over a lifespan. As an example, if you were a pilot and you're leaving New York to get to Los Angeles, if you change just by two degrees at the start your bearings, instead of landing in LAX, you will find yourself in Tijuana, Mexico, 141 miles of course. So how do you set out to establish some of those habits? For instance, you might want to say, well, I need to read more books. Well, don't just say I need to read more books. Be more specific with a time and a place. So you should say tomorrow morning at six o'clock, I'm going to be reading such and such book for 30 minutes in the guest room. That is much more specific and attainable. It reminds me of a dear friend of mine. He, uh, he is a mentor to me. He used to put a chair inside of his dressing room, his closet, and he has stacks of books next to him. He will go there in the morning, 5 o'clock, 5.30, and just read for 30 minutes uninterrupted and not distracted by anybody. Very healthy habit. Now, if you want to establish a new habit, it's much easier if you put it in conjunction with something that you're already doing that has a positive effect in your life. For instance, last year, I started something new based on something that Jane likes, i.e. she drinks a lot of coffee. I'm not much of a coffee drinker, but I started making cappuccinos early in the morning, take it to bed to her, and we both listen to this one-year reading plan of the Bible in bed. And then we will pray together, dedicate the day to the Lord, ask for protection, pray for friends and tasks at hand. And it was an awesome way, and it is an awesome way, to start the day with the right foot in the right direction. Now, does that eliminate problems? Absolutely not. But it does give us a sense of peace and of direction. And when we're traveling, for instance, the past two weeks we've been traveling, this old system and rhythm has been really thrown out of whack. And I find myself being more open to the attacks of the enemy just because of that issue. Remember the old idea of being properly dressed with spiritual covering, the armor of God on a daily basis is fundamental. And speaking of that, because of what I've been doing with Jane, I realized there is not one program like that in Italian where the Bible is read and is commented. So I prayed to see how that obstacle can be overcome. And with the prompting of James, I really felt led to start a reading plan for Italian, in Italian, of the New Testament only in one year, with a commentary and an action point, so that Italians will develop a healthy habit of getting in the Word. Because as you and I know, the Word changes lives. So this project, Lord willing, will start on January 1. And I will have an English version as well to this. So if you want to participate by supporting it financially or by giving input, please put a note down below or write to me directly at pepocast at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you. The Apostle Paul tells us that those who are in Christ are a new creation. The old has passed away, the new has come. So if you find yourself that you're stuck with whole habits. I challenge you to develop that healthy habit of being in His Word. Did you know actually that 92% of American Christians are not in the Word on a daily basis? That is a staggering statistic. So I challenge you not to be in that percentage, but to be part of that 8% and growing. Guys, have a fantastic weekend, and I catch you, Lord willing, next week. Ciao.